This is how Iran's supreme leader honors the country's top military commander, a man he once described as a living martyr of the revolution. The whole country is grieving. The daughter of the prominent general, who was killed by a U.S. airstrike on Friday, warned of a dark day coming for America. Families of the American soldiers in Western Asia have witnessed America's humiliation in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Afghanistan, Yemen and Palestine wars, and will spend their days waiting for the death of their children. Other top Iranian military officials have vowed revenge. The only thing that can compensate for his blood is the complete removal of America from the region and taking away their evil from the oppressed people of the region. Soleimani's assassination also puts the 2015 Iran nuclear deal in danger. On Sunday, Iran announced it would take the final step in reducing its commitments under the agreement, saying it would enrich uranium without restrictions. U.S. President Donald Trump's order to eliminate Soleimani not only infuriated Iran, but also its neighbor Iraq. Iraq's parliament called for the expulsion of foreign troops from Iraqi soil. The government should end the presence of any foreign forces and prevent them from using the lands, water and sky of Iraq. On the American side, the rhetoric is defiant as well. Right after the Iraqi parliament cast the vote, President Trump threatened sanctions against Baghdad, warning that the sanctions will be as hard as those slapped on Iran. Trump also threatens to bomb Iran's cultural sites, an action that experts consider tantamount to a war crime. As the world ushers in a new decade, the U.S. assassination of a prominent figure in Iran's government opens a new chapter of spiraling tensions in the Middle East.